Naam, karibu kwenye taarifa zetu. Siku moja tu baada ya kutangaza mpango wa kampeni katika maeneo ya kuzaa jamii wa viongozi wa mrengo wa code mapema hii leo wametoa makataa ya siku saba kwa rais Uhuru uh, Kenyatta badilisha mkataba huo ambao unasema kwamba ulitoa manufaa kwa sekta ya maziwa na nyama na hivyo basi pia kuharibu sekta ya ukuzaji wa miwa ni kuambua basi atukunjulia jamvi letu ya taarifa za kieten leo kwa hivi sasa Mrengo wa kodi umeonekana kutozuiliwa na viongozi wa jubilii kupinga mpango wa serikali ya Kenya kuagiza sukari kutoka Uganda huku Kenya ikiuza maziwa na nyama nchini Uganda. Viongozi katika mrengo wa kodi wamesema kuwa mpango mzima unaolemaza ukulima wa miwa katika eneo la Magharibi huku kunufaisha wafugaji na wenye kampuni za kuuza maziwa. It is a conflict of interest and corruption at the highest level. The government if I told they signed any agreement they must cancel that agreement with immediate effect for the benefit of farmers of this country and the mumias in particular if mumias has foreign interests why don't you put money in a bank that is uh, owned by kenyans so our people can go with proof of debt and they are paid their money what my mother cares about is her money not that you fix mumias factory but give our farmers our money. Ni Jumamosi tu ambapo viongozi wa mrengo wa jubilii katika eneo la Teso walidai kuwa wapo viongozi matapeli katika biashara ya sukari na ndio sababu walikuwa wakilalamika. Ni watu matapeli wafanye biashara ambao wanaenda wanalete sukari kutoka nje, wanaweka kwenye mifugo ya mumia, wanaenda kuuza dukani wale wakulima wanazama na miwa yao kule shambani. Lakini viongozi wa kodi wameshikilia hatua kuwa mpango huo haukuwa wa haki once we get to state function corruption know that we are trading on dangerous grounds because in zoya sugar as of yesterday they had 40000 bags of sugar worth 160 million shillings in their stores they have been unable to sell bringing sugar from brazil and baptizing it as ugandan sugar and claiming that there is a surplus it is time that we are going now to take measures and statistics that are being channeled out to justify greed and corruption is something that is unacceptable to Kenyans and something that we as code will fight to the last man to protect the interests of Kenyans katika mwelekeo mpya sakata hiyo viongozi hao sasa wametoa makataa ya siku saba kwa serikali kutafuta njia za kubadilisha mkataba huo ili kuokoa sekta ya sukari nchini we are giving the government one week to cancel that deal if they don't then the entire western will march to state house to demand that revocation nicolas omboa ktn leo nairobi Kuneko ni kwamba mkurugenzi wa mashtaka ya umma Kiria Kotobiko ameagiza rasmi kasisi James Nganga wa neno Evangelism kushtakiwa. Kupitia taarifa rasmi Tobiko amesema kwamba wachunguzi wa idara yake wamebaini kwamba Nganga ndiye alikuwa akiendesha gari ambalo liligongana na gari la logana gari la Masi Njeri na kumuua papo hapo. Kiria kwa amesema kwamba ushahidi upo wa kutosha wa kumhusisha Nganga katika ajali hiyo iliyotokea katika eneo la Lemuru. Tobiko amesema Nganga afikishwe mahakamani kwa tuhuma za kuendesha gari vibaya na hivyo basi kusababisha kifo mbali na kutoa habari za uongo kwa vyombo vya sheria huko nchini. Tukiachana na taarifa hiyo ni kwamba wengi watawachukulia kwa watoto sawa na watoto wengine e, lakini mradi walioanzisha katika kaunti ya Bungoma umezidi kuwavutia wasichana wengi huku wakinufaika kwa mafunzo kuhusu jinsi ya kujepusha na mimba za mapema Robert Onyonyi na taarifa hiyo ya kutia moyo kutoka kaunti ya Bungoma Mradi ambao bila shaka utawapa changamoto viongozi wa kisiasa Wengi ambao hawajapanga mikakati mufti ya kuwasaidia vijana. Lakini dhana hii imeonekana kupigwa teke katika kaunti ya Bungoma. Hii ni baada ya juhudi binafsi za Sofia na Beatrice 
dada wawili ambao waliamua kutumia kidogo wanachopewa na wazazi wao kama matumizi ya shule kuwafikia wasichana wenzao wasiobahatika katika jamii our second group of teen peer mentorship girls were graduating today so um, after doing a year of programs learning life skills Today was the final day. Ni mradi waliouzindua miaka mitatu iliyopita baada ya kuangaziwa na vyombo vya habari taarifa zilizofichua ongezeko la visa vya wasichana wa shule za msingi haswa wilayani Mlima Elgon kuacha shule baada ya kupata mimba za mapema. We had a project in when we went from 3 a theory project, theory homework and we came we talked to some girls and we realized that the information we have on some things that we think are obvious they don't really have so we decided to start a program to help them learn about some of these things we decided to start home because bungoma is home and we are hoping once we teach the girls in bungoma we can expand and soon maybe possibly to be a countrywide thing ni tukio lilowakera hukuwa kiamua kuanza hafla ndogo za kuwashauri wasichana wachache waliowapata hukuwa kijinyima pesa za matumizi walizopewa na wazazi wao ili kuwanunulia wasichana wenzao vitabu na majarida ya kuwasaidia kuepuka mapenzi wakiwa bado wanafunzi uh, we teach them about relationships that you know not how to deal with other people and not to get involved in early relationships which can lead to pregnancy when they are still young and how to avoid drugs and drug issues uh, i think they are very important especially for teenage girls because they teach them on life skills which many people in the town may know but in the villages may not really know so it's important to teach them so that we have a better society mwaka huu ilikuwa awamu ya tatu ya sherehe zilizowaleta pamoja wasichana zaidi ya mbili kutoka kaunti nzima ya Bungoma na baada ya mashindano ya kuigiza na michezo mbalimbali walionufaika na mpango huo walituzwa kwa kupewa vikombe na vieti maalum. The program has been beneficial to me in that it has been able to nurture me and be able to have been able to improve my social skills the way I interact with people in my academic life. Aidha changamoto za kifedha wanazopata kutokana na jinsi ya kuendeleza mradi huu hazijawavunja roho huku akinuiwa kuwafikia wasichana zaidi ya alfu mbili kupokea mafunzo ya maisha ifikapo januari mwaka ujao we started in 2013 with 50 girls and so far it's been successful the first group graduated last year in december this is our second group and we are hoping to run it for three more years that's five years in total So if each year we are doing five girls that will be 250 girls. We focus on self esteem for the girls to have a high self esteem and um, hygiene which we also think is very important. Ni mpango ambao umegusa hisia za baadhi ya viongozi kutoka eneo hili wengi ambao wanahisi kuwa shughuli za kuwasaidia vijana huenda hazijatiliwa mkazo. Ukiacha vijana ambao ndio walio wengi katika E, mambo ya maendeleo Sijui mwelekeo yako itakuwa ni nini sijui maono yako ni nini sijui wewe unataka kufanya kasi na nani kama unataka kufanya kasi na vijana Tatizo la wasichana wengi kuacha shule baada ya kupata ujauzito ni swala ambalo limewakosesha wazazi wengi usingizi lakini mradi huu wa kujitolea wasichana hao wawili ni mradi ambao umechangamkiwa na wengi na vile vile kukaribishwa na washikadao katika sekta ya elimu Robert Wanyonyi KTN News Kwa kwenye kumbunge wa Gatundu msukuru ya mapema ile walifika kwa mara ya pili mbele ya kamati ya nidhamu katika chama cha TNA akabiliwa na tuhuma za kutoa matamshi ya uchochezi. Wakili wa kuri ya Danson Mungatana amekishtumu chama cha TNA huko kidai kwamba kuna watu walio na njama za kumwangamiza kisiasa mteja wake. Elvis Koskei na maelezo zaidi. Serikali yote hakuna mtu ambaye hakuwa rafiki yangu kutoka Zilikuwa kauli ya mbunge wa Gatundu Kusini Moses Kuria baada ya kunukuliwa kiwamuru vijana eneo lake wanahudumu katika huduma ya vijana kwa taifa NYS kumkata kwa upanga mtu yeyote atakayejaribu kuipinga miradi ya NYS na kwa mara ya pili kamati inayoshughulikia maadili na adabu katika chama cha TNA mapema leo imempiga msasa Moses Kuria kuhusiana na matamshi yake wanaodai yanakiuka vipengele vya maadili ya chama na alipotoka Kuria alionekana mtulivu na kupitia wakili wake Danson Mungatana Kuria alieleza kutamoshoko wake na jinsi kamati hiyo 
inavyoendeleza shughuli za kutathmini matamshi yake huku akitaka kamati hiyo kuvunjilia mbali vikao hivyo vya kusikiza kesi yake some of the issues we have raised include the fact that the honorable Moses Kuria is already facing a charge based on similar circumstances and therefore by TNA proceeding with this charge they will be exposing the honorable member to double jeopardy Kulingana na Kuria endapo chama cha TNA kitaendelea kumpiga msasa basi kita ujumu wa muzi wa koti ambapo kesi yake bado inaendelea katika mahakama ya milimani This is actuated by negative politics It is actuated by negative politics It is a question of uh, TNA eating itself Hata hivyo kamati hiyo imesema kuwa itatoa uamuzi tarehe moja mwezi huu will not plead to this charge and we are asking for termination of these proceedings and uh, we believe that uh, the proceedings to be fair to all people the proceedings should be terminated and we let the court decide because the court started the case it is not the TNA that started the case we are addressing disciplinary issues we shall rule on 21st Elvis Kosgei KTN News na mtukiacha na, na taarifa hiyo sasa tulikie kwenye taarifa nyingine ambapo ugonjwa wa kichaa cha mbwa huwa watu takriban elfu mbili kila mwaka humu nchini na wengine elfu sitini kote ulimwenguni tatizo hili limezidi zaidi katika maeneo yaliyozongwa na umaskini kwa kuwa wasiriwa wengi huwa hawana uwezo kutafuta tiba ya dharura pindi wanapoumwa na mbwa katika kampeni inaendelea kwa sasa katika kaunti ya Laikipia mbwa elfu moja na mia tano atakajiwa kuchanjwa wakiwemo mbwa koko Kagulnderi alikuwa katika eneo hilo la Kalaikipia kaskazini na hapa taarifa yake Jitihada za mbwa hawa wa Laikipia kaskazini za kukwepa uchachu wa sindani ziliambulia patupu hata aliyejaribu kutoroka hakufika mbali kabla ya kunaswa na kikosi hiki cha madaktari wa wanyama jamii nyingi za wafugaji hawana haswa ufahamu kuhusu ugonjwa huu wa kichaa cha mbwa na ndipo sasa wanahimizwa kuwapeleka mbwa wao kupata chanjo ni ugonjwa hatari kabisa unaosababisha vifo elfu mbili kila mwaka hapa Kenya na vifo vingine elfu sitini duniani miongoni mwa jamii za wafugaji hakukosi mbwa mmoja ama wawili katika kila boma mbwa hawa hutumika katika shughuli za ufugaji utangamano huu wa karibu unaohatarisha wenyeji ni majuzi tu watu watatu wamefariki hapa kutokana na maradhi ya kichaa cha mbwa So part of our outreach campaign is actually to vaccinate the dogs for for rabies to help both protect people as well as wildlife because certain wild species endangered species such as wild dogs are threatened by rabies as well Kampeni hii inalenga maeneo ya Ilmotok, Lekiji na Koija ambapo hatari hiyo ugonjwa wa kichaa cha mbwa imekithiri. Ugonjwa huu huwa kila wakati na nusura tu ni wapo mtu atapata sindano ya tiba kabla ya saa sita kutimia baada ya kuumwa na mbwa. Kwa bahati mbaya wengi ushindwa kufika kwenye vituo vya afya kutokana na kuwa maeneo mengi huko barabara nzuri au namna za usafiri. Sema kwa kama boma hii wanajuana na watu wa boma hili lakini watu wengine wageni walikuja hawajui uh, so unakuta kwamba umbwa kwa kawaida huwa wanalinda wanalinda usiku na pia wanalinda mchana so watu wengine wakija eh, wanaweza kupigia kelele na unakuta kwa bahati mbaya wale watu wale umbwa wanaweza kuwa umwa paka pia huathiriwa na ugonjwa huu hatari na ipo haja ya wamiliki wote wa mifugo kuwapeleka wanyama wao kuchanjwa Namba si barabara kabisa mtazamaji na chukua mapumziko mafupi na kurudi basi nitakuwa na taarifa nyinginezo lakini kabla yote hayo tujifunze mengi kutokana na lugha ya Kiswahili ni posa kwa sasa tupate kamusi ya leo Katika kamusi ya leo hivi leo tunaangazia neno chotara ni mtu mwenye wazazi wa rangi mbalimbali ama suriama mfano katika sentenzi Mtoto yule ni chotara kwa sababu babake ni mzungu na mamake ni Mhindi. Naam, karibu tena. Shughuli za matibabu zimesambaratishwa katika kaunti tatu za humu nchini baada ya huduma afya kususia kazi wakitaka kupewa mishahara yao. Wahudumu afya katika kaunti ya Nandi 
wamejiunga na mgomo huo unaoendelea katika kaunti ya Wasingishu na vile vile katika kaunti ya Nyeri wakidai kwamba mishara yao imecheleweshwa pakubwa eh, Mary Kilobi na maelezo zaidi Fahali wawili wapiganapo nyasi ndizo huumia ndio taswira kamili katika kaunti hii ya Nandi Wagonjwa walifika hospitalini kama kawaida wakitarajia kutibiwa lakini kwa mshangao wao wanaopaswa kuhudumia hawakuwepo kisa na maana hawajalipwa mishahara yao. Mina umia, maneno ya tumbo. Operation ni leo. Lakini daktari yote ameenda mkomo. Nilimaliza hapa wiki moja eh ndio wanasema kuende nje nyumbani na sina pesa hata kidogo mmoja baada ya mwingine wakilazimika kuondoka baada ya uhudumu wa afya kuzima ndoto ya kutibiwa kwao kwa kufunga lango la hospitali ya Kapsabet kufuatia alama za takriban wahudumu 882 wawili kutoka vituo vya afya 280 kwamba hawajalipwa mishahara wa Julai Msimamizi wa chama cha uguzi katika kaunti hii anaelezea kiini cha mgomo wao. Our deductions to the bank loans, insurances, eh, sacos, as we speak Afya Sacco eh, is in need of 45 million from Nandi County. So we are wondering for the last six months they have not submitted our dues at what reason? We even faced a penalty of getting a lower the amounts of the dividends because of uh, insufficient funds and uh, they were not remitted on time. Hatua hii imelazimu gavana wa Nandi Cleophas Lagat kuwaita wawakilishi wa wadi waliokuwa likizoni kurejea kwa kikao cha dharura ili kujadili bajeti. Na kaunti ya Wasingishu haijasazwa ambapo wahudumu wa afya wametangaza jana kuanza mgomo lakini hii leo uongozi wa kaunti umejitokeza na kuhakikisha wahudumu kuwa watapewa mshahara wao wiki hii. Hali sawia ilishuhudiwa katika kaunti ya Nyeri wagonjwa wa kisalia kuumia. Wahudumu hawa wameapa kuendelea na mgomo hadi pale matakwa yao yatakapoangaliwa. Mary Kilobi, KTN News. Namba si baraka kabisa baada muda sio kwa mrefu mtazamaji nitajiunga naye gavana Isaac Ruto tukijadili eh, ile swala nilofungamana na mchango wa magavana katika kuimarisha sekta ya afya na vile katika sekta ya elimu katika kaunti zao. Hayote basi ni baada muda usiku kwa mrefu ambapo namuona gavana Isaac Ruto yuko tayari katika studio zetu za aya ndema au za katikati mwa jiji tayari basi kuweza kuchanganua yote hayo. Kwa sasa basi nachukua mapumziko nitakaporudi nitakuwa taarifa za michezo na kusihi usiende mbali. Naam karibu tena katika safu ya kiteli ya michezo. Timu tukawakilisha Kenya kwenye mashindano ya dunia ya riadha iliondoka humu nchini hapo jana usiku kuelekea jijini Beijing nchini Uchina wakiwa na matumaini tele ya kuboresha matokeo ya makala aliyopita huko jijini Moscow Urusi. Kenya itawakilishwa na riadha hamsini kwenye mashindano ya mwaka huu ambayo yatangwa nanga siku Jumamosi jijini Beijing Uchina. Chini ya kufunzwa kocha mzoefu Julius Kirwa timu ya Kenya inatarajiwa kufanya vyema kwenye mashindano hayo huku lengo kuu likiwa ni kurejea nyumbani na zaidi ya medali sano, tano za dhahabu. Bingwa wa tetezi Ezekiel Kimboi, Yunis Sum, Milka Chemos na Asbel Kiprop ni kati na riadha kwa shirika katika mashindano hayo ya dunia. So we are going to fight for the whole events that we are going to participate. We really need the calls when we attend the, 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 the championship. But um, for sure there is no need of uh, naming or saying the 10 metals, 20, but the one we will go and fight for and what we, get, we can get, we appreciate on that. Yeah, the team is nice. Uh, we have a lot of uh, young, uh, young guys. Uh, me being uh, Babel, I think uh, I'm going to take the boys and girls uh, to try our best uh, in baking.
<laughs> baba yao <laughs> na mkarona hayo mashindano ya shule za upili yanaendelea nchini Rwanda huku Kenya ikitarajiwa kufanya vyema katika mashindano hayo ya kanda ya Afrika Mashariki Robinson Kenya na maelezo zaidi kutoka nchini Rwanda Mashindano ya shule za upili kanda ya Afrika Mashariki yanaletwa kwako na Brookside Brookside inakuza vipaji vya michezo Baada ya baadhi ya timu za Kenya kuanza mashindano ya shule za sekondari kwa kurekodi matokeo duni katika mji wa Huye nchini Rwanda, leo ilikuwa ni awamu ya timu za Kenya kutamba. Kwenye mpira wa vikapu baada ya kulazwa jana kwenye mechi yake ya kwanza, timu ya hapa hili leo ilijizolea alama muhimu baada ya kupata ushindi wa alama 125 kwa 26 dhidi ya Nsumba ya Tanzania. Kwenye mechi nyingine timu ya Apika ya Rwanda ilipata ushindi wa alama 64 kwa 55 dhidi ya Dubiri ya Uganda. Eteni ya Rwanda ililaza makongo alama 54 kwa 51. Kwenye mpira wa magongo baada ya kulazwa na Sinyolo, timu ya Tanzania ilijikaza ileo na kulaza wapinzani wao Kakungulu Memorial mabao saba kwa sufuri. Rachel Atieno alidhirisha ubabe wake kwenye mechi hiyo baada ya kufunga bao tatu kabla ya Grace Akumu kuongeza bao moja kabla muda wa mapumziko. Kwenye kipindi cha pili Diana Owino na Grace Akumu waliongeza mabao mengine na kufanya mambo kuwa saba kwa sufuri. Timu hiyo imelenga kutua kombe la mwaka huu lakini kwa sasa lengo lao ni kupita raundi ya makundi. Kwenye mechi nyingine Sinyoli ililaza Kakungulu mabao mane kwa sufuri. Kwenye upande wa wanaume St Anthony ililaza St Mary's Kisubi alama tano kwa sufuri. Even though he scored five, our target was 10 goals because uh, as it is now the race is for the goals. So the one with the highest goal we, uh, in case of a tie uh, the goals will decide. Uh, the target is to get the cup. That's the first target and if it, uh, it, it if the worst comes to the worst at least a silver. Katika mpira wa raga timu ya Leza hili ilipata ushindi wa alama 14 kwa sufuri dhidi ya wapinzani wao Jari Maseno kwenye mechi iliyoegemea upande mmoja. Kakamega walilazwa na Namilango alama kumi kwa saba. Katika raga ya wachezaji saba kila upande timu ya St Peter's ililaza St Joseph Labi alama 26 kwa sufuri. Bila shaka siku ya tatu ya mashindano ya shule za sekondari ya eneo la Afrika Mashariki imekuwa na msisimko wa hali ya juu. Na sasa jukumu la kila timu ni kuhakikisha kwamba wanazoa alama ambazo zitawafikisha katika raundi ijayo ya mashindano haya. Nikiripoti kutoka Huye Rwanda, mimi ni Robinson Okenye. Brookside and Strathmore University are offering all-rounded East African boys and girls a chance to win a university scholarship. Play at the Brookside East African Secondary Schools Championship in Rwanda to get spotted for final selection to attend the boot camp in December. Score A- in KCSC or the equivalent in the other participating countries and you will get shortlisted for final selection. Brookside, nurturing sports talents and promoting academics. <laughs> Na mtazamaji ni hayo tu kwa sasa leo kuandalia katika taarifa za kiti leo lakini sio mwisho kwa taarifa zetu kwa baada ya muda soko mrefu nitajiunga naye gavana Isaac Ruto katika awamu yetu ya pili ya leo maujiano kupitia KT News na kusihi usiende mbali